Hello Internet, and welcome to another Metroidvania map announcement video from me, Imogen. This one's a cookie cutter. At the time of recording this, this map is not 100%. Well, it probably is very, very close to 100%. The reasons why it isn't 100% is because at time of recording this, there are a few bugs preventing me from obtaining one of the major weapons in the game. These will get patched pretty quickly, but most of the map is done. It's work in progress right now, but if you see this map basically any time late December or January 2024, it'll be done and it probably won't look quite like this. So the reminder is that this is not the guide. This is an announcement that I've made a guide and the link to the guide will be in the description below. I have to say this in multiple videos because people just you know, freeze frame the video and use that as the guide. That, that's not how most of my maps work. You can find the map on my coffee.com shop right now. There will be a free version available for this pretty soon when it's finished essentially i'm not putting out a load of different free files because that means everybody's got different versions of it and some people don't quite understand my process <laughs> my process but anyway this is cookie cutter cookie cutter is a punk essentially metroidvania and this map's got all the kind of things that you would expect from from my kind of map you've got notes about how to get to certain things you've got locks you've got locked doors you've got currency containers in various site uh, sorts you've got teleporters you've got terminals with law bits you've got save points you've got all of the abilities all many uh, all tiny cash containers energy cells that you can collect key items that you can find the various weapons We've got shop information, but again, this isn't currently complete, but it will be pretty soon, what I would think. You've got bosses. Right now, there are certain things on this version of the map that you're seeing in front of you that I am not a fan of in terms of how I have done it. It looks, in some places, a little bit busy. And I'm probably going to do something about it. These especially... There are little kind of eyeballs that you can knock around into these sockets to open up various gates. And these are using the in-game icons. And the, the game does a pretty good job of auto-mapping things, but it doesn't map, for some reason, locked doors or specific kinds of locked doors. You know, the kind that you can only get through with a lever or the kind that, you know, you have to use certain things to open. Um, it's, it's kind of weird in that sense. But... For the most part, Cookie Cutter is an enjoyable experience. If I can make one suggestion for you, though, if you're planning on picking it up, once you've done the introductory tutorial, you get a key from Raz by returning his backpack to him, and he says, oh, this unlocks the gates on either side of the hidden diner. And the game will let you go to either of these two zones first. Don't go to the right. Go to the left, because if you go to the left, you will start picking up abilities. You'll start picking up abilities and useful items, which you can then take to the right. So, for example, you'll get the bullets, you'll get the double jump, you'll fight a boss, you'll get a key item or a quest item, and then you can take that quest item over to the right-hand zone. If you just go straight to the right-hand zone, like I did, you can't actually get anything. There were no power-ups in there in the first, probably, hour of the game. So I went right, I went round here, and I opened up a couple of doors, and it's like, I've got a little bit of currency, but I've got nothing else. It's only when you come back with the visor from this area and give it to a guy up here that you start getting other bits and pieces in this zone and the game starts opening up. My initial experience with Cookie Cutter was quite negative because I felt like I was wasting a load of time not getting anywhere or doing anything. 
simply because there were, we were given the choice of two zones, and it turns out that all the cool stuff that's going to interest you as a Metroidvania player and explorer is in the orange zone. So don't go right. Don't go to the purple zone. Go to the orange zone first. After those initial impressions and the game started opening up and I started getting abilities, I did start warming up to Cookie Cutter, but those initial impressions weren't great. Until probably about 80% of the way through the game. By the time we got down to the Crystal Pits and especially up into the Golden Tower, the only way the developer seems to be able to challenge us as players is by rooms full of instant death spikes spikes on the floor spikes on the ceiling spikes on the walls and some reasonably tricky platforming to get around some of them keeping in mind that this is is a hand animated thing and it is not a precision platformer it does not have the tightness of precision platformer controls so i found the last 20 percent of the game really frustrating there's a lot of knockback by that point in time our damage doesn't scale up as high as the enemies does enemies get a little bit spongy towards the end and the instant death spikes everywhere everywhere really ground me down now i've given this feedback to the devs so hopefully something will be done about it. But there needs to be some patches pretty quick because, as I said, you know, there are five weapons in the game and I, one of them is locked behind a questline, an NPC who is bugged. So he hasn't moved from his place in the world to the diner where you can start his questline. So literally, of the five weapons, one-fifth of them, 20% of them, completely ina inaccessible to me. There's also no percentage counter in the game. As far as I'm aware, it is being worked on. Why it's been released without one, I don't know. I feel like, and I mean no offence with this, although it could be taken as offensive, I feel like Cookie Cutter was released too early. You know, there's voice acting, for example, in the tutorial, in this section here. There's no voice acting elsewhere in the game it's just in the tutorial it sets an expectation and then doesn't follow it through and there's a lot of dialogue in this game so i appreciate voice acting is expensive and therefore you know the fact that they haven't got it is all the way through it's like it could be budgetary it might have been time i don't know but its absence is one of the things that has been noted the most on the steam forums there is a parry move in the game the timing is incredibly tight i'm talking lies of p style tight in fact i was better at lies of p's parrying than i was at cookie cutters because at least with lies of p you just rely on the weapon coming towards you with this there's a blue purple flash thing but it doesn't actually happen when you're supposed to parry it says it is in game but but it's not i think that was how they originally planned on doing it and they maybe changed their minds I don't know but anyway i don't want to talk too much see you can tell these videos are unscripted can't you i don't want to talk too much about the current state of the game because you could be watching this video you know 10 months plus in the future and things may very well be different what i can't imagine will be different is the general kind of shape of the game you know everything's hand drawn everything's handcrafted so they're not they're unlikely to go back and tweak these things i suspect they've probably got dlc in mind or they've had to cut content for time because there are a few doors there's a door down here there's a door over here there's a door over here which you can't get through i haven't found a way of getting through these three is there another one somewhere i feel like there might be another one somewhere but yeah i i feel like there's probably going to be more areas to explore at some points i really enjoyed the middle section of cookie cutter i really enjoyed the middle section once the game opened up and the combat started clicking yeah it got a bit spongy and a bit too reliant on insta kill spikes 
towards the end and having that choice at to be honest i feel like they should rework the start i feel like they should force you to go left into the orange area and yeah once you've got that you can go back to the purple area i think i think allowing players the choice will mean that that some people will get kind of bored but it's got an interesting story some of the dialogue is very very try hard edgy um but you know it, it's punk it, it's a punk metroidvania there's a lot to like about it it's it's a divisive one it's a divisive one i've got a, a video on the channel with with more of my first impressions in fact with with that opening section you know heading towards the purple area i've got to edit the next bit together later today i rambled i keep saying i'm gonna get keep these videos focused but yeah link to the work in progress version of the well link to the, the maps will be in the description below at time of recording there's only the work in progress version in the shop there isn't a free version because it, it, the map's not finished but it's there and it's i i would imagine it's probably 99 percent complete i've managed to find some information about what i've missed but not all the necessary information about what i've missed and you'll notice even from here that there's a couple of little colored splotches those are secret rooms and i haven't found where i'm supposed to place them on the map yet but i've got to do some more work on this today i just wanted to get this video up to well essentially publicize myself give myself a little bit of you know hey look at this thing that i've made it's not quite finished yet but it will be soon support me so head to coffee.com forward slash demogen for that links in the description below let me know what you think a cookie cutter because as i said i think it's gonna be a fairly divisive one i feel like i've been saying that about quite a lot of metroidvanias recently thanks for watching thanks for support have a great day bye thank you very much for watching if you enjoyed the video, why not click the like button and consider subscribing. Remember, you can ring the bell notification icon to get notified when new videos go live. And until next time, cheerio.